is the following. A redox reaction. If some of this is strange, I would encourage you to go back and take a look at the previous lesson where we actually talk about assigning oxidation states. I write out the rules. I talk a little bit more in depth about oxidation reduction. This is just sort of a recap to get things going again. Okay, is the following a redox reaction? In other words, is it an oxidation reduction reaction? Some reactions are not. Some reactions are acid base. There's no re oxidation reduction going on. Some reactions, nothing changes. So a redox reaction is when there is a change in oxidation state from reactants to products. And you'll see what we mean in just a minute. In other words, do oxidation states change in going from reactant to product? That's it reactant to product. This is how you decide if a particular reaction is an oxidation reduction reaction. You assign oxidation states to each thing in that equation, and then you check to see on both sides, the reactant, like the iron on the reactant side, the iron on the product side, has the oxidation state changed. If it has, it's an oxidation reduction reaction. Electrons have been shifted around. Okay, so let's do 8H plus, and don't worry about how this looks. It's a perfectly good equation. MnO4 minus, this is what I was talking about. Some of these can look really weird. Don't let the symbolism scare you. So you're presented with this equation and you're asked, is the following an oxidation reduction reaction? Well. I have to assign oxidation states. Let's do it, just like we did in the previous example. H plus, the oxidation state on is plus one. Mang permanganate, we said that the oxidation state was plus seven, and for oxygen is minus two. Remember, minus two is always the same for oxygen. There's four of them for a total of minus eight. Minus eight plus seven gives me a minus one, so the manganese has an oxidation state of plus seven. Iron. Well, the oxidation state is plus 2. Here, manganese, the oxidation state is plus 2. There you go. Manganese has gone from a 7 oxidation state, plus 7, to a plus 2. The oxidation state on manganese has changed. It doesn't matter that it's here it's with a compound, here it's alone. That doesn't matter. That's just chemistry. Iron is plus 3. I'm going to go back to blue. This is plus 3. Sure enough, iron has gone from a plus 2 oxidation state to a plus 3. Oxidation states have changed. Yes. Oxygen minus 2. Hydrogen plus 1. This is a non-metal. Hydrogen hasn't changed. Oxygen hasn't changed. Manganese has changed. The oxidation state has gone down. Iron has changed. The oxidation state has gone up. This is where the word reduction comes from. Oxidation, reduction means the number positive 7 to positive 2, the number is reduced from positive 7 to positive 2. It has gained electrons. Iron plus 2 to plus 3, it's been oxidized. Oxidation is actually an older term than reduction was. That's why we call it oxidation and reduction. That's why it doesn't seem to really jive all that well. Plus 2, plus 3, this has been oxidized. Oxidation and reduction come in pairs. So you see this is an oxidation reduction uh, reaction. And the reason we know that, because oxidation states have been changed. One of them has gone down, one of them has gone up. It will always be that way. If one of them has gone down, I promise you somewhere something has gone up, because oxidation reduction comes in pairs. Okay. 